Hi there Capricorn, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me Anissa from Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love messages. It's a general reading, so the roles might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for personal reading with me, okay? So Capricorn, in this reading, it's going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be looking at how is your energy in the present moment, your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I am also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? Oops. Let me take that. Okay, Capricorn, let's talk. Your energy in the present moment, you have the Nine of Swords, you have the Two of Cups, and you also have the Six of Cups in upright position. <sighs> okay, there are some things here that you're stressing out about. You're trying to keep a good spirit about it, like you're trying to combat all of the negative thought that comes about when it comes to the things that has been haunting your mind lately, but it seems as if like you can't get away from it. You're trying to approach it from the place of love, but again, like it's, it's kind of like quite dark. The energy, I might say. Your challenges, Ace of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles in a proposition. Your challenges here has a lot to do with you waiting. Waiting for an offer, waiting for things to change, waiting for things to stabilize, waiting for a solid, concrete confirmation that the next time, or the next, it's going to be solid. It's going to be built on a stabler foundation. Now, in the past, you have the Wheel of Fortune and you also have the Six of Wands. I feel that in the past, you guys were focusing a lot more on being seen, on the things that makes you pleased about yourself. You were busy chasing after, you know, making things happen. That's what I would say, okay? Now, in the past, this person also was not really looking at you and they felt that, you know what? Like, um, I just start to feel that the things that I have for Capricorn in the past was not fulfilling for me. So they were deciding to kick it to the curb. However, there is a bit of a change of mind in the present moment. Because now they have the Ten of Wands and also the King of Wands in upright position. When you least expected, Capricorn, when you least expected the things that you have been hopeful for them to do, which is taking the burdens of responsibility, taking a bit of an accountability, doing the things, doing the necessary work for their connection, is going to start happening because they're going to be in the energy of them wanting to fix it wanting to have you especially if you guys are dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or a virgo or a scorpio that's as far as i could see right now now in the future again things are here's the funny part okay um capricorn things are doing well when you're not stressing about it that's the theme of this reading when you don't when you're when you don't see it come in that's when things starts happening for you Love-wise, career-wise, everything. When you stop stressing out about it, it's just boom, voila, it just happens. Now, in the future, you have the Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, and also the Four of Wands. When you're just not caring, when you're just not stressing, when you're just not overthinking about situations, there you go, fun time. You back being your playful self. You having a good time here. You receiving love. You have somebody here who thinks that you are their wish fulfillment and they would like to offer you their heart. There you go. Okay? Let's clarify now. So don't stress about things much, Capricorn. Good things will happen to you when you least think about it or when you least expect it. <laughs> okay, let's clarify. I want to clarify that Ten of Wands. This person is very much aware that you have a bit of a bitter memories when it comes to the connection between you and them, okay? And in the past, they were kind of like quite busy in trying to be a bit mysterious, trying to be a bit, trying to um, not be in your radar, that's how, it's, that's how I would say it. Let's clarify that hermit. 
Oh, I, I think I'm going to get flu from my daughter. Anyway, moon clarified by the ace of cups and also the ace of wands in upright position. I feel that in the present moment, you're just like focusing on reflection. You're focusing on healing. You're focusing on how to bring about love into your life again. You're focusing on how to bring about some sort of motivation, inspiration, or actions in your life again. You're just busy focusing on you. Let's clarify the king of wands here. There you go. Clarify the tower. Especially if you guys are dealing with a fire sign, yeah? Fire sign and earth sign. Like, they are going to be making a grand entrance. If they, if, they, if they haven't already, they're going to be doing it soon. Where, again, they're just going to be doing those work that you've always expected them to do. But again, it's going to happen when you're just be busy focusing on your money, focusing on your independence, focusing on your freedom, focusing on just you. How can you bring about some sort of healing in your heart? How can you bring about some sort of inspirations or motivations or actions in your life? When you don't think about them much, it's just boom, dang, happens. Let's clarify this Nine of Cups. If you're single and ready to mingle, I do see someone new, but it's an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel that as soon as you switch your energy, right? As soon as you switch your energy into less thinking about them, less thinking about the relationship, and you start thinking about you, it's like the switch turned off. You became, oh no, actually thinking about me, taking care of myself, healing, focusing a lot more on my freedom and stability is actually very happy, is actually very fulfilling for me. It's, it feels very safe and predictable for me. This is the kind of um, energy that I prefer to be in because it feels so secured and safe. So I feel that in the future, you guys are just, again, like just observing things that comes in your way. If you open to someone new, then you're just observing, like you're not really going to be fully attached to that person, but you're just going to be observing. like. Okay, I'm going to be observing what is going on between them. Are they really a good person? Should I give them another, you know, should I give them a try? Should I give them a chance? But it just pisses you off. So I feel that the table will turn though. Because again, like, if this were to happen like ages ago, things probably, like you would probably welcome them with such open arms. But the thing is that it will happen when you least expect it and when you don't think about it anymore. So when that happens, you're like, oh my God, like I I've managed to heal from you and now you're here, why? Why? It will just piss you off. Like why come back? Like this reading will probably piss you off. Like, why the hell come back? But one of the reasons why has a lot to do with them knowing now and fully um, acknowledging that you are their wish fulfillment, that you are the person that they would like to have and they would like to manifest you. They feel that both of you have the complementary element of what it takes to build on a long-term relationship. They're trying to study you from top to bottom on how to get your heart again. They're going to get a bit um, confused by, again, your detachment or your aloofness in the future. Let's pull some advice card for you here, Capricorn. yeah with that energy of you getting back in touch with yourself you focusing a lot more on yourself 
is the one that is being advised by your guides as well. So you have the Emperor, you have the Sun, and you also have the Six of Swords in upright position. This is kind of like one of the way that your guides are trying to tell you, like, look Capricorn, you've been worrying over silly things. You're meant to think or you're meant to worry and stress over bigger things, things that are much more impactful, things that are much more purposeful. Okay? You were created in this earth to have more impact. So stop worrying about little things like this. Stop worrying about things that is going to make you question your self-esteem. Stop worrying about things that makes you feel as if like you're not capable. Makes you feel like you're trapped with nowhere to go. Where is that card? Gosh, can't seem to find it. Where's the five of pentacles? Anyway. Anyway, yeah. You saw the five of pentacles earlier. <laughs> That's what your guys are trying to tell you. Get back in that seat. Get back into, into that captain seat. You are the one who is who has the ability to control your mood, your inspirations, your heart chakras. If things are not conducive for you to be happy, to feel delighted, to feel inspired, to feel connected, then move to calmer water. It's as simple as that. And that's also one of the things that I love about Capricorn. Sometimes... When I talk to my Capricorn cousins or my Capricorn best friends, the solution is as simple as that. Just do it. It's as simple as that. So this is the advice. It's as simple as that. Go back to yourself. Stop worrying about things that are not the ones that you're supposed to be worrying about. Move to calmer water and you'll find the answer. Okay? <laughs> So I think that is it for writing for you here, Capricorn. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys have been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye guys. Have a great day. I love you.